This microphone here is the Tank 3 microphone from Fifine. This dual XLR and USB-C microphone has been generating a lot of buzz lately, especially for its low price point. So I wanted to put it through its paces and see if it lives up to the hype. So immediately you can hear how this microphone sounds and all of the audio from this video will be from this Tank 3 microphone. Before we get into the review, let's take a closer look at this microphone with the unboxing. First impressions, the Tank 3 has a pretty sleek design. It's an all-in-one black metal body and it feels really sturdy in your hands. But while it's definitely heavier than some other budget mics, this is definitely a good sign in terms of build quality. On the front, the grey mesh adds to the Tank 3's look, allowing easy transmission of your audio. The bits on the inside of the microphone that you don't see include the built-in filter, which is awesome for reducing those plosive sounds like those P's and B's, and a dynamic cardio capsule, which primarily focuses on sound coming directly in the front of the microphone, which greatly reduces background noise and anything from any other direction. There's also separate knobs for gain control and the headphone volume, and a handy mute button with a nice LED indicator showing red when the mic is muted and green when it is active. What I do really like about this design, and it's probably only a small thing, is that all the labels and positioning of them are geared towards the microphone being in this position directly in front of the logo. So the Fifone logo here and the two dials are the right way up, so I'm not having to guess which way is the correct way to turn the dial because it's all positioned for me being in this position using the microphone. Where the Tank 3 truly shines with its versatility is what's located at the back of the microphone. Here we have both an XLR and a USB-C input, which is gonna let you connect the Tank 3 directly to your computer or PlayStation using the supplied USB-C input. But if you do wanna use an XLR cable, so you can connect it to an audio interface or a mixer, then you will have to purchase a, an XLR cable separately. Now, if you want to know what my current setup for recording this video is, I'm using the Tank 3 plugged into my MacBook Air, which is just sitting here via the USB-C cable, recording everything in Audacity. And the last thing on the back of the microphone next to that XLR and USB-C port is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for live monitoring, which is great for streamers and podcasters who want to hear themselves in real time. Anyone planning on getting this microphone and using it with an XLR connection, the live monitoring and the mute button only work when the microphone is directly using the USB-C connection. But if you do want to do any of that live monitoring or muting, you can do it on your audio interface or on your mixer. The other accessory that's common with a lot of lower budget microphones that is missing is a stand. The Tank 3 has threads for both 3.8 and 5.8 microphone stand attachments, so this wider compatibility will allow you to use a whole wide array of different existing stands, desktop stands, or even your own boom arms, which you might already own and prefer. I'm using the Tank 3 on this boom arm here because it's the longest reaching arm that I've got and it doesn't look as generic as those other boom arms that I've collected over the years that have been bundled in with other microphones. So it actually not coming with a stand was actually a bonus this time. You already heard what this microphone sounds like in normal conditions, and as you can hear, the audio is clear, crisp, and captures my voice really well. They recommend speaking at a distance of between two to six inches away from the microphone, so this sort of distance here will be best. But let's try recording some samples in different scenarios to showcase this mic's versatility. Now let's try a whisper. How's the mic picking up those sort of nuances? I think it's actually doing it really nicely, but just let me know in the comments below. So this is what the microphone sounds like when it's really low. As I turn the dial up, this is, I mean, I'm speaking at normal, normal volume, and I'm, that's as high as the microphone gain goes. So I've probably got a bit louder, and I like to have it around about here. So as you can see, this is what the levels that I normally have recording into a microphone. So we'll do a sort of proximity test now. So as I go further away, what does the microphone sound like if I'm still speaking into it? And then if I come close to the microphone, almost touching the microphone, how does it sound? Just let me know in the comments below.
So here's a test with some background noise like typing on this keyboard. Now I haven't got a fully mechanical keyboard, but notice how that cardioid pattern of this microphone keeps the keyboard sounds minimal while focusing on my voice, as it's primarily picking up the sound from the front of the microphone while minimizing background noise everywhere else. So while I'm typing away, the noise is coming from this direction, and because it's not directly in front of the microphone, it's actually disregarding some of that and making my voice its dominant input. Now this sort of setup where it's going to block out those other noises like keyboards and things like that, it's going to make it perfect for situations like podcasting, streaming or recording voiceovers. And for those of you that might want to record musical instruments, here's me strumming some chords on a guitar. Very badly. The Fifine Tank Clay is a fantastic option for anyone on a budget who wants a professional sounding microphone for their content creation. Whether you're a streamer just starting out, a podcaster looking to upgrade, or a gamer who wants crystal clear communication with your teammates, this mic delivers. If you're watching this looking for a significant upgrade of your headset mic without breaking the bank, then the Tank Clay is also a great choice. One of the biggest advantages of the Tank Free is its dual connectivity and that versatility. The XLR connection allows you to connect it to an audio interface or mixer for even more control and potentially better sound quality with cleaner audio. This is going to be ideal for professional setups or those who want more customization. The USB-C connection, which it's currently plugged in here, provides a plug and play option perfect for beginners and those who just want a simpler setup. It connects directly into your computer or PlayStation console with no additional hardware needed. But however, due to the nature of USB versus XLR, you might experience more background noise with USB compared to XLR. But I personally think it actually sounds really good. Now, the big question, how does this microphone compare to other microphones, especially the expensive ones? Sure, some high-end microphones might offer better audio performance, and in those cases, this microphone obviously won't sound exactly like those high-end studio mics with that exceptional sound quality that often comes with a hefty price tag. But for the price of this, this offers incredible value. You could probably say that this microphone, the Tank 3, bridges that gap between affordability and professional sound, making it a fantastic option for budget conscious creators. And compared to those microphones in this sort of price range, the Tank 3 offers exceptional value. It boasts a more robust build quality, superior sound quality, and the incredible versatility of both XLR and USB-C connectivity. The USB-C option gives you that starting point and the XLR option gives you that room to grow and expand with your setup without having to purchase an expensive microphone while maintaining that really good overall sound quality. So what's the verdict on the Fifine Tank 3? I'm essentially thoroughly impressed. It's a fantastic microphone that delivers professional sounding audio at a price point that won't break the bank. The build quality is excellent, the sound is crisp and clear, and the dual XLR and USB-C connectivity makes it incredibly versatile. If you're looking for a microphone that can grow with you on your creative journey, punches above its weight, and you're on a budget, then the Fifine Tank 3 is a great option and could be a serious contender for your next audio upgrade. Many thanks to Fifine for providing this microphone for me to test and review. It's greatly appreciated as always. And if you want to get your hands on this microphone, use this code here on Amazon to get 15% off following the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.